So howdy folks, today we're going to be taking a break from our big camper build to take a look at this. This is the Renogy Mini Core Lithium Leisure Battery. Now they've compacted down the size greatly. We're going to be comparing this side by side with a lead acid battery of a similar capacity. We're going to compare the weight, the dimensions, as well as the price, which has come down significantly in recent years, which really begs the question, is it still necessary to be installing lead acid batteries in our campers? <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a little bit of compare. Let's get our lead acid battery on the table. Okay. <laughs> so this is the lead acid battery we're going to be comparing it with today. And um, this is the Explorer 225 amp hour leisure battery. Now with a lead acid battery, you can only use 50% of its capacity. So this is 225 amp hours. So that means there's 112.5 amp hours of usable capacity in this battery compared with this one, which has 100% usable capacity. So that means we can get 100 amp hours out of this one. So considering there's only 12.5 amp hours of extra capacity in this battery, the size difference is quite significant. This lead acid battery is 51.5 centimeters long, whereas the mini core is just 22.5 centimeters. So the lead acid battery is over twice as long as the mini core. They look to be about the same height, but the lead acid battery is just over 27 centimeters wide and the mini core is 13.5. So the lead acid battery is twice as wide and over twice as long. So you're going to save a significant amount of space by installing one of these, which is you know, obviously a bit of a premium when you're building a camper. Another cool feature is you can actually install these on their side. So you could install them under a seat or something like that, you know, further gaining space elsewhere in the camper. The lead acid battery is stated to weigh about 50 kilos, whereas the mini core is just 9.7 kilos. So that's only a fifth of the weight. So we're going to try and weigh this on some scales now. I'm going to see if Beth can manhandle that by herself. Okay, so how much do you weigh? It's embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> 60.2, but I'm carrying a little holiday weight right now. <laughs> oh my god, it's only 69.7. So it's actually a little less than 9.7. 9.5 kilos, maybe? That's mad. Now you got to try and get the beast. <laughs> I don't think I can. <laughs> We're carrying this together, I, I can't. I can't. Go, go, go. I can't. There's no way I'm going to get over there. You can do it. I don't think I can. Go on, go, go, go. That's it, you're doing good. Go, go, go. Oh my god, I'm going to go, go, go. it. Quick, quick, quick. Oh my god. Measure yourself. Measure oh yourself, quick. <laughs> quick. I, I can't see. A uh, hundred and twelve. <laughs> Uh, Quick, dump it. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. I do like that battery. You reckon then that was about a hundred and what? Well, it was a hundred and twelve, but... hundred and twelve, so that is about fifty kilos then. Yeah. Wow, look at you. <laughs> you she-hog. So as we've seen there, there is a significant difference in the weight between the two of them. And that's a really important thing when I'm building camper builds, um, because you've got a few different things to think about. One of them is the payload. So you've got a sort of a maximum amount of headroom and installing a really heavy battery like this, it's going to add an extra 40 kilos compared to this one. It's going to really start to eat into that. That's also going to affect your fuel efficiency. So you're going to be paying more for fuel per mile. And it's also really difficult to manhandle when you're trying to get the installation done, as you saw with Beth trying to lift it up. So another thing to consider that a lot of people perhaps overlook is the discharge and charge rate between the two different batteries. So a lead acid battery generally can only charge and discharge to about 10% of its capacity, which isn't a lot. Whereas a lithium leisure battery can generally discharge and charge to about 50% of its capacity. And but this mini core here can actually do 100% of its capacity. So what this means is if you want to store something that's quite power intensive, such as an inverter, so a thousand watt inverter is going to use about 83 amp hours of capacity, meaning that you actually couldn't install it on this lead acid battery. So you would actually end up damaging this battery if you were to install an inverter on it. This battery here, however, can use 100% of its 
capacity, so it can use 100 amp hours. Um, so that 83 amp hours that the inverter would pull uh, would be well within that range for this little mini core. So another big factor to consider is obviously the price. As we know, the budget goes straight out the window when you're doing a camper conversion. And several years ago, when Beth and I did our first trip and built our very first camper, we used a lead acid battery simply because it was a lot cheaper than a lithium battery, which tended to be about twice the price of a lead acid. Nowadays though, if we look at this, this is 235 pounds um, on the market value for this battery here. And these come in at just 249 pounds. So the difference is really small now. And if you buy the one without the self heating function it's actually less than this battery at just 199 pounds which is incredible and you get so many more features with it so per usable amp hour of capacity this is about two pounds and eight pence this one is two pounds and 49 pence and as i say if you get the one without the self-heating function it's only one pound and 99 pence so it's a bit of a no-brainer on which one to go for. And in terms of the longevity of the investment as well, these batteries are going to last you about 5,000 cycles, whereas these are only going to last a tenth of that at about 500 cycles. So you're going to have to replace this one 10 times as much as well, so it's going to cost you even more in the long run. And also you only get a two-year warranty with these, whereas this mini core battery has a five-year warranty. So that just protects that investment into the future and makes sure that your camper is up and running for years to come. This mini core battery has a couple of really cool features. One of them being that it has a self-heating function. Um, lithium laser batteries generally can't be charged if the temperature drops below freezing. Um, but this has dual heat pads that provide 110 watts of heating um, to make sure that temperature is brought up above freezing so that it can basically be used in any context. You know, even if you're in somewhere like Canada and it's freezing cold outside. Now, another thing it has is a battery management system. Now, with a lot of batteries, you have to buy this separately, but with this mini core, it's actually built in. And what it does is just prevents the battery from being over or under charged so you can kind of rest assured that you're never going to completely deplete the battery to the point where it's going to get damaged it will cut off your appliances won't work and then it will signal to you then that you basically need to get this charged up so just for clarity, Renergy did send us this battery, um, but just to let you know, they didn't pay me to say anything. They haven't asked me to say anything specifically. All of the opinions are of my own. Um, but if you've seen a lot of our previous camper builds, um, then you would have seen that we've used a lot of Renergy products. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, one is the price point. Um, as I said before, it can be really unaffordable to do your own camper conversion sometimes. And if you compare this to other products like those of Victrons, um, this is a really good price point. It's normally about half the price of those. Um, so that's one of of the reasons the other being that their technical support is really really good so they'll normally reply to me with any questions I ask them within sort of 24 hours or so and in the past I've also had to send some items back to them and they've refunded those with no quibbles no questions asked um, so I'm really impressed with their customer service so if you want to find out more about um, this mini core which is also available in a 300 amp hour format which could take you off grid for days and days and days um, then follow the link in the description they've got solar panels inverters charge controllers all sorts of things for sale on their website and if you use the promo code wood and wild then you'll get a cheeky little discount as well so i hope you've enjoyed this video um, let me know if you've got any questions about it any questions about installs in general um, i'll do my best to answer them but hopefully we'll catch you on another build soon